But Neda said, if I don't go, and others like me don't go, then who's going to go? She told mom that she'd try to keep in contact as much as possible to let us know she's okay. That morning, the besieges were out in force. Today was a really determining day because we knew that something was going to happen. As after Khamenei's remarks, we knew that he had allowed uh, his guards to open fire on the crowd. Arash Hajazi had trained as a doctor, but given up medicine to start a publishing company. He and his colleagues had all come into work that day. And I explicitly forced my colleagues that today nobody's going out. Nobody will go out today because it's extremely dangerous. So all of a sudden, everybody stood up and said, we don't care. So they decided to go out. And I said, okay, so if you're going out, I'll come with you because uh, I want to make sure that you do nothing stupid. By phone, we heard that there were things going on. People were in the streets shouting death to dictator. For, uh, it was, I mean, the shouts were very high. The sieges had begun to open fire on protesters. Remarkably, Neda was caught on camera approaching the protests. She is seen beside her music teacher, a gray-haired man in a blue-striped shirt. Neda was among the crowd, uh, was standing there among the crowd, where uh, in front of the only right place. She was there with an older man, and she was very close to us. So I noticed her. Sometimes she shouted, uh, death to dictator or something. And her music teacher was trying to convince her that she should stay back. While she didn't really, she was very curious. She caught twice to say everywhere was full of special forces. She said there were many of them. She said it was very dangerous. My mom begged her to come back. She said that she would come back and started heading back towards her car. And when we moved back into the alley, she and uh, her music teacher started uh, walking with us towards the end of the alley. 10 to 15 minutes before she was shot. Our uncle was the last person who spoke to Neda. She told him that she was close to her car and would get back soon. But she never got to her car. This video, taken on the street where Netta died, shows Basiji's passing by on motorbikes and protesters throwing rocks late in the day. That was when we hear the blast. And from in front of, from in front of us. And I, everybody was just a bit shocked. I, I asked, what was that? Was it a gunshot? Another friend all of a sudden told me that, look at this girl, she's vomiting blood. And I saw that it was, she wasn't vomiting blood, it was blood pushing out of her chest. Dr. Hijazi tried to stop the bleeding, but it was too late. Uh, the extent of the blood of the bleeding 
and the pressure of the bleeding indicated instantly to me that her aorta was short and her lung as well because the blood had been flowing through her uh, nose and mouth as well so her lung was short as well and she died very quickly then I realized that uh, a crowd was pulling someone towards us and the mad person was shouting that I, I didn't want to kill her and the shout were uh, starting and uh, the people were uh, starting to beat him, beat him and they took off his clothes and his shirt and they started discussing what to do with him uh, they searched his body they took out his wallet they took out his ID cards and started shouting he's a member he's a passage member he's one of them They couldn't give him to the police, they believed that because they, first of all, they would expose themselves, which was extremely dangerous at the, on that day. And also they didn't believe that the police would do anything for, to him because the passage is very powerful, that he would easily go up and away. So all of a sudden, in the chaos, they decided to release him. This ID card, confirmed by Dr. Hijazi as the besiege at the scene, was later released onto the internet. It identifies him as a besiege with a three-day license to operate in Tehran from the Revolutionary Guard. His name and phone number were published too. The number has since been disconnected. Uh, when my father saw, opened the door and saw me from God, he thought that something had happened to me and he was scared. I answered with very short sentences without explaining much and then they turned on the TV and then it was CNN and we saw that the field was being uh, uh, shown there uh, with me in it. This is disturbing, I want everyone to know that but um, and we have blurred out her face out of respect but this is possibly the most seen piece of video out of Iran in the world today. Uh, at the same time, I realized that, okay, I'm there, my face is evident. This gives me uh, some leverage that I can testify for this incident someday. It would take just a few hours for Netta's video to spread across the world, and a few days more before it helped transform world opinion. You've seen this video, I what's your reaction? It's heartbreaking. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. And I think that anybody who sees it uh, knows that there's something fundamentally unjust about that. The Iranian government admits 11 protesters were killed on June 20th. But doctors from three Tehran hospitals confirmed at least 34. Other bodies were buried by security forces before they could be identified. Netta was buried without ceremony. When they tried to hold a memorial, Netta's sister told us that the authorities prevented them. We were not allowed to hold a wake in her memory. We weren't allowed to put up a notice on a local board to announce her death. None of the moles would take us. None of the halls or restaurants would give us a place to hold a ceremony in Neda's memory. They wouldn't let us. Neda's boyfriend, Caspian Makan, was distraught and angry. He decided to speak out to satellite TV stations overseas. How did you find out about the death of uh, Neda? My phone rang, and the screen said, Meta. I was expecting to hear her voice, but it was her sister saying she left us. She was targeted deliberately. Even though you can clearly see she didn't have a stone in her hand. I don't know what the Iranian authorities have to say about this. Do they have anything to say about this?